We've talked about form view and list view. Let's talk about the table view, the third choice here. You have the form view, the list view, and the table view, or also available from the menu as view as form, view as list, view as table. But before we do that, I want to finish up the discussion about list view and something that may not be clear to you at this point. Over here on the left-hand side, you see this little line here. And as we move through records, either by clicking on them or using the Rolodex, you'll see that little black line moves to show you which records you're actually on. And when you switch layouts, remember we're on Vern here. If we switch to Contacts, which is our form view, we're on Vern. If I switch to the next record, Pamela, and switch to List View, that's the record we're on in here. So you want to keep that in mind because this will help us with scripting when we're making scripts to move back and forth between these layouts, or even if you're doing it manually. It's a great way to search out the records you want and then switch to see the detail. So let's go ahead and talk about the table view, which is very much like or akin to a list view. It, the list view and the table view are much more like than your form view. Form view shows one record, list view shows many records, as well as does table view. You can actually turn your form view into a list view if you want, but what's the point? It's not a very good view for this type of layout. You want to have all your records usually across like this for a list view. So we'll change that back, switch over to list. So usually I design a layout for one particular type of view. Now let's show you how a table view works. We're going to switch this list view to a table view so you can compare them. First of all, you'll notice that our header and our footer disappear. We can make those reappear, but we're going to do that in a second. You also see over here that your indicator is a little triangle. A little bit clearer here in, in table view. Now this is very different than FileMaker 10 and earlier versions. You'll see a lot of differences here. In fact, we have a lot more to go over than we did before, but we're going to go the basics right now. So you'll see what records you're on just by that little arrow. And again, the same thing happens if we switch to contacts. We're on Glenn. Now what you can also do is sort a column. So if I click on that column, it sorts it by first name, then by last name, or by city, whatever you want. And if you click on it again, it sorts it in the reverse order. So you have ascending and descending, depending on how many times you click on it. You can also reorder columns. I can take the last name and put it over here, or decide I don't like that and put it right back where it was. I can also resize these columns like that. So you have a lot of control in this table view, which is what a lot of developers like about it. What I don't like about it is you have uh, very little control over the interface, as we'll find out when we cover interface. So I don't usually use a table view in a professional solution. But as far as making a view that meets your current needs and quickly changing it, yeah, it's really great for doing that. In fact, you have this neat little feature here that allows the users to modify the table view without going into layout mode. So that's really cool. If you hit modify here, what you'll notice is you get this little dialog here that has all of the fields are in layout mode with little locks next to them. And you can go and say, well, I don't want to see that field right now. Uncheck it, it disappears. Check it, it comes back. Now if we add a new field, such as, let's say, state or company. Let's go for company. It's right there. You notice it doesn't have that little lock. That means you can delete it off there. You can still just delete it off this way temporarily, but you can also delete it so it's not even available there at all. So that's kind of neat. Let's add it back in. Let's, in fact, find the state this time. Click OK. And let's click OK again. So they have control over what their layout looks like. But realize that when we go into layout mode, and we'll do that by going up here, that state field really didn't go on the layout. It's just for that view for that particular user. So I still really don't like the table view, but I want to show you some of the ways you can modify the interface. And it's very limited what you can do. That's why I like the list view better. But let's show you how that works. So if you go to the Layout menu and choose Layout Setup, there's a lot of stuff in here. We're going to go straight to Views, and we'll cover all this stuff in later tutorials. We'll go ahead and look at what's in here in the Views section you can uncheck form view if you don't want that layout to be shown in form view. In other words, you can't change it to form view. It's always going to be a list or a table. Well, then you can do that by unchecking that. I normally don't mess around with these because it'd be a lot of work. I usually set up a layout that's a form view and a layout that's a list view and then prevent the changing of those views through security. So I usually don't mess with this, but this is an easy way to do it if you don't want to set up a full-scale uh, security in your solution. 
But what's most interesting down here for table view is that it has properties here. If we go into properties, we'll see that we can change the grids, horizontal or vertical. You can take the grids off, you uncheck those, change the color and the pattern. We can include a header part. Remember, we didn't have that information up there that said list. Uh, that had the you know the labels up here like this we could include it if we wanted just by checking it or include a footer part those are automatically included on a list view just not on a table view and we can include column headers we can decide well we don't want them to sort when they click on a column you can control it quite a bit you can even use custom height for the rows so there's a lot of stuff you can do I'm not going to really change any of this because I don't really want to go over table view too much I don't I believe in the table view I want you to know it's here in case you decide you love to use the table view and it's it's just your cup of tea so we'll click OK and click OK again to get out of this and then we're going to go back to browse mode and we're eventually going to switch back to list view but we have some more things to cover in the table view it's dramatically changed in FileMaker 11 it allows you to change the schema which we'll go over you've got a whole list of new things you can do here so we're going to cover those inside of the next section